my backpack. Sucks. Yep. Go on. It hurt. My back. Yep. And shoulders. Yep. I like them. Yep. It's just that it didn't fit right. Yep. For the last two years, I've had to watch Logan struggle with his backpacks. They would never distribute the weight correctly to his hips, bearing all the weight on his shoulders. Unfortunately, this is the true origin of the trail pipe lean. What he's actually doing is trying to find some relief and stretching. Your hips need to carry about 80% of your pack load. A common mistake that many new backpackers make is not getting their hip belt tight resting on their hips. And after only a few hours, your traps and your back, well, they're gonna hate you. <laughs> so Logan owns two, what were advertised as kids, backpacking backpacks. And they're both high end. The problem is the lack of adjustability. Logan can't cinch down the hip belt tight enough and what he's left with are straps that dangle so far that he nearly trips over. I knew I had to fix this for him, but how? Doesn't anybody make a kid's backpack so we can stop this madness? And that's when it hit me. When I bought my new backpack, which has quickly become my favorite backpack, I could customize everything. And I thought maybe I can make one small enough that it'll fit Logan as well. So I went onto their website and you won't believe what I found. ULA makes kids packs too. Eureka. Eureka! Om. 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 This is my ULA Om 2.0. And I know that it's my backpack because it has my name on it. I absolutely love this backpack. This is my go-to pack most of the time. The only time I'm not using this is in the winter time when I have to carry more weight. I've been a Gregory backpack user for 30 years. Gregory's carry a lot of weight really well. They're like the Cadillac of backpacks. But now the market is focusing its attention on the ultra lighters and I don't consider myself an ultra lighter. I'm more of a lightweight. Uh, my base weight is usually around 15 pounds, which this pack will more than do. If you push it to like 30, you're not going to be as happy. Then you're going to want a more traditional style pack. I can't say enough good things about this ULA pack. Be honest with you, in the winter time, I am looking forward to spring so I can get this pack back on my back. That's how much I love it. Now, what I really want to do is find a backpack that Logan can say the same thing about. A backpack that's not going to dig into his shoulders because he can't get the weight up on into his hips. Something that's not going to take away from the experience of hiking. I may have just found that backpack. This is the ULA Circuit for kids. Not to be confused with the ULA Circuit for adults because they are exactly the same. That's right. There's no difference. This is the same backpack, same size, same capacity. I think it's 68 liters, which is actually bigger than my backpack, but with one key difference. Do you see the difference? Look at where my shoulder straps are. And look at where Logan's shoulder straps are. That's because this is custom made. This is actually going to fit the torso of a 9 or 10 year old person. These shoulder straps are adjustable. They'll actually go up another 6 inches. Which is great because that means he won't outgrow the pack. The other great thing that ULA does is removable or replaceable hip belts. If he were to run out of adjustment, we simply order another belt. These are custom sized as well. One cool thing that ULA does on their hip belts I don't know if you can see that, there's two buckles there. And what that does, most people's hips have kind of a contour to them. So that first buckle would sit normally, like on top of your hips, you can tighten that down. And then you can take the second one, and that moves the hip belt in just a little bit more, so it contours to your body. It's the little things, the details that I appreciate. 
In case you want a little bit more credential for this backpack, the youngest person to ever hike the PCT, which is the Pacific Crest Trail. I think it's like 2,260 miles, don't quote me, but it's a big long distance trail. It's basically the West Coast version of our Appalachian Trail. Well, he was six years old and he did it in this backpack. Now, you've heard me complain about the lack of market for kids backpacking gear. Everything I find is subpar. It doesn't match what actual backpacking gear is. But ULA, they're doing things the right way. Let's take a look at their website. Check this out. So here we are looking at the kids circuit on ULA's website. It's a regular full featured circuit. It has the gigantic mesh front pocket that absolutely eats gear. The hip belt pockets are the same, very large, easy to get to. The side pockets, again, huge. I usually put two water bottles in those. But over here, you can see you have torso size, hip belt size, and shoulder straps. And these are choices usually reserved for an adult pack. So the kid circuit weighs just 36 ounces, which is the same weight as the adult circuit. Scroll down, you'll find a pack sizing guide, which I'll get back to in a minute, a video on pack fitting, and customer support. Not only are ULA packs made in America, but coincidentally enough, in Logan, Utah. I just want to touch on customer support real quick. So, being the impatient person that I am, after about five days from when I ordered Logan's pack, I started getting antsy. So, I responded to my receipt of order. Not really expecting a reply, probably just gonna get return the sender from the digital postmaster, but that's not what happened. So as I said, responding to my receipt of order, I said, hey there ULA, thank you so much. I love my own so much that I ordered this for my 10 year old son. Is there any way of checking on the order status? A few hours later, I got an email back. Hello, thank you for checking in, and we're gonna ship your pack tomorrow. Thanks, Peter. Peter is the co-owner of ULA Equipment, and he left his office phone number. You don't see that every day. Okay, so not only does ULA walk you through exactly how to measure your torso, they also give you a chart to translate those measurements to help you determine which pack will work best for you. There's also a helpful video that walks you through it as well. And they do the same thing for your hip belt, and they show you exactly how to measure correctly for it, including useful tips to make sure that you get the correct fit. You can also choose which style of shoulder strap you want, and they explain the pros and cons of both. But let's say you really want to go nuts. Click on build your own, choose your pack, and you'll find a list of options that will let you create a pack that is truly unique to you. Every panel, every attachment point, 100% customizable. But now the most important question, what does Logan think? <laughs> yep. All right, so you got some mileage in on this pack. What do you think now? I like it. I could hardly even feel a thing up here. The problem, what used to be, is that it didn't sit on my waist. There was no more adjustability, so it literally caved in on my shoulders and made them hurt a lot, like a lot. Definitely has made it more enjoyable for me and Probably for dad. He doesn't have to help me every five seconds. It also makes it easier for dad because he doesn't have to carry all my crap. And now, it's just like, I don't know how to explain it. It feels amazing. I like my Huawei sword. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So much better. So much better. Thanks, ULA. Little settlement. What do you think? I liked it. And I liked my ULA pack. All right, so 
So there you have it. Logan's stamp of approval. He loves the pack. I am so happy for him. I think this is going to make the backpacking experience so much better for him. Now, he's got a good backpack. Made for kids. Hey gear companies, listen up. There is a market for kids backpacking gear. Parents who backpack usually have kids that backpack also. If you make the quality gear, they're going to buy it. I'm talking about clothing, pants that don't have legs that are 10 feet long, and what's with the elastic waistbands? Put belt loops on them. Shoes, gloves, mid layers, don't even get me started on mid layers, sleeping pads, sleeping bags, all of these things. Put the same quality and features in that you would your adult gear. One size fits all does not work for kids. It wouldn't work for adults. Why are you doing it? When kids go out, with a crappy piece of gear and it makes them miserable, they're going to remember that. And they're gonna remember what brand it was. That's your next generation that's buying your gear. And when they get older, they're gonna remember the name of the brand and that's how they're gonna associate it. And they're gonna pass you off and look at something else. So keep that in mind. All right, that's the end of my rant. If you're looking for a great kids backpacking backpack, check out ULA. You won't be disappointed. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next trail. Thanks ULA.